welcome back to The Average Kitchen. Don't mind me here, I'm just doing some cutting of potatoes. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make homemade hand cut potatoes, fries, French fries, in this brand new Ninja single lid, the Foodie Smart XL pressure cooker steam fryer with smart lid. And I'm gonna show you how to make some awesome homemade French fries in this, so stay tuned. So now let's talk about doing homemade french fries. I have many, many times, many times over the years used this little device, not very expensive, fry cutter, works pretty well, suction cups to the countertop, push the potato through, makes consistently uh, you know, thickness fries. What I don't like about it is this. I like buying uh, bags of potatoes at Costco because you, if, as you can see here, Jamie, five potatoes that are all pretty much the same size. The challenge becomes this potato will not fit in the tray of this little device that I have. So therefore you're cutting in half or you're cutting it in pieces. You get very inconsistent sized fries. A lot of times you get small fries. So what I've been doing recently is just hand cutting them myself. And what I do is a little bit of waste, but not much, is I just sort of square off the ends and make sure that there's, okay, that has a little bit of a bad spot there. Cut it down the middle, cut it again. And then I sort of make like almost like steak fries. They end up being kind of like that those size. We're gonna give them a water bath for about, uh, I don't know, 20 minutes, half an hour. Give them a water bath and uh, let them get some of that starch out. A lot of times I'll switch out the water a couple times to get rid of the starch. So these potatoes as well, I should mention that um, I just scrub them. Uh, you could peel them if you want. I do kind of like sometimes that look of the, uh, the sort of rustic potato fries. That's how I've been doing my fries lately and uh, they turn out quite nice. part try to cut them pretty consistently some of them are, are a little bit chunkier than the others but that's okay but you see this sort of like milky kind of water that's your starch that's coming out of your potatoes and we want to get rid of that and just uh, sort of blanch them in water and clean them up a little bit so I'll sort of just drain those a couple times getting rid of uh, that starch and then the next stage is we're gonna towel them off and dry them I just took my potatoes out of the uh, cold water and I threw my basket in I gave it just a little spray and some cooking spray it's not necessary you don't have to do that I just tend to and I'd like to kind of preheat this actually so we're gonna use the air fry setting and we're gonna set it for we'll say 40 minutes to start and I'm gonna just start to preheat that now so we're gonna hit start in the meantime, we'll continue to prep our potatoes here. So we're just gonna give them a nice dry, I don't like the look of that one. So we're just gonna dry them off in our towel, sort of shake them around, dry them off, and then they're gonna go back into our stainless steel bowl. Just really nice to have a bowl like this to be able to work. And I'm gonna throw in two tablespoons of just standard vegetable oil. So we'll give that a mix, and we're gonna hand mix this afterwards as well. And then I'm gonna throw in, and I've been doing this lately as well, and it's worked out quite well, half a teaspoon of cornstarch. And we're just gonna sort of flutter that in there like that, really helps crisp up to get those really crunchy, crispy fries. And I'm just gonna mix those really, really well. Just wanna make sure with the corn search that you don't have any big chunks. Open up my lid, and we're gonna dump those in. Like I said, I set it for uh, 40 minutes, but we'll check them throughout. Usually every 10, 12 minutes, I like to check on them, give the basket a shake, and then measure how they look as far as my desired uh, level of crispiness. All right, 27 minutes into our uh, cook here. All right, so these are really looking good, but you can see the difference when you flip those around. It's really necessary to give those a toss to be able to get that consistently uh, cooked evenly all the way through. 34 minutes in, I'm gonna say we're gonna be good here. They look fantastic. And I think fries are somewhat subjective as well to people's desired level of crispiness of what they like or what they think is a perfect fry. But to me, these are like a kind of rough cut, nice looking homemade fry that's not deep fried. Of course, you can never compare deep fried fries to anything else. They're basically the best, but they're not necessarily the best for you. So let me take one of these. So it's kind of on the thinner side while it's really hot. Give it a little ketchup dip. Let me give it a try. Even with a thinner fry, there's still some meaty, soft potato in the middle there, which is really, really nice. Wow, that is hot. You can see crispy on the outside, but not crunchy, but crispy on the outside and soft in the middle. So to me, that is a perfectly cooked potato, perfectly cooked homemade fry in the air fryer. 